Uh, hi, my name is Ed Cotton. I'm the executive chef here at Soto 13 in the West Village. Today I'm going to be making shrimp involtini. So people hear the word involtini and they usually, well my mind always kind of goes towards like eggplant involtini, thin slices of eggplant stuffed with cheese and rolled up. Or anything kind of rolled up uh, or stuffed, uh, you know, usually a protein like a beef or a chicken uh, stuffed with something and rolled up. So here what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take shrimp and roll that up with pasta. So we're gonna take some pasta sheets, roll those out, take some shrimp, chop it up, make a little shrimp mousse, and we're gonna roll that up like a pinwheel. So that's my, my take on a shrimp in Voltini. To get started, we have some basic pasta dough. We rolled that out to a thin sheet. We're gonna take our shrimp that we actually chopped it up, whipped in some uh, shrimp butter to it, uh, lots of Meyer lemon, and uh, some herbs. So we, we're gonna take that mixture and we're just gonna spread that all over. Rolling out your pasta dough and making it as thin as possible is key. You wanna take the shrimp and try to get it as thin as possible, about a, a quarter of an inch. And you wanna go to just to all the edges here. It's like uh, frosting a cake. So we have this ready to go here. So we're gonna go ahead and start rolling it up. So the first roll is, is key for me. So we're going to take that and I just take the knife and I kind of tuck that in there a little bit. And then from there you can take it and just roll it up nice and tight almost like as if you're making a uh, like a, like a cinnamon roll. You have you have this nice little pinwheel effect right here. So you can make them any size. You can make them smaller like this. You want to really supersize it you can do a giant one. From here what I'll do is I'll just tighten it up a little bit. I'll put it in the refrigerator, let it, let it get nice and cold again and set up, and then I'll wrap it in plastic and then I'll steam it just so the shrimp is just cooked. About 120, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'll let it cool down. And then from there, that's when you can cut your portions into these guys. All right, so now to cook our shrimp in Voltini, we're gonna take our steamed off shrimp in Voltini. We're gonna take that. And we have the luxury of working with a really beautiful wood-burning brick oven here. Um, you can definitely use a regular oven. 350, 375, you know, even 400 is fine. Because just remember, these things are fully cooked. All you have to do is just reheat them up. So we have a little olive oil here in our, pre, in our preheated pan. We're gonna take a little salt and pepper. We're gonna take a little espalette pepper for a little bit of spice. We're gonna go ahead and pop these right into the pan pop them in there and really roast those things up. So while you're, you're cooking your shrimp in Voltini, the things to look for are the edges getting nice and golden brown and crispy around the, the edge. This can go from zero to 60 on you relatively quick. All right, so now we're gonna check our shrimp in Voltini. We're gonna make sure that it's nice and caramelized. It's been a couple minutes. So you can see that there's some nice caramelization going on here. So I'm just gonna flip that so we got that nice golden brown. We're gonna go ahead, we have some uh, nice little uh, uh, clean shrimp here. We're gonna go ahead and throw some shrimp in here. And then we're just gonna pop that back in the oven. The shrimp should take, should take about a, another minute or so. All right, so our shrimp are basically cooked now. So from here, I'm just gonna add tiny pat of butter. I'm gonna add our, our fresh corn that we actually roasted here in the brick oven. I'm gonna take some fresh fava beans. I'm just gonna warm that up for another 30 seconds or so. So once the butter is melted, what I like to do is I like to, I like to baste these up. Now to plate this, it's very simple. We have a, we have a beautiful corn, a little corn uh, sauce. We'll take this corn sauce and just kind of put it down on the bottom of the plate like that. We'll take our nice and crispy shrimp in Voltini right there. We're gonna arrange our shrimp and corn all over. The We're gonna garnish it with some fresh, thinly sliced jalapenos and some cilantro. I think those, those two elements really kind of bring this whole dish in together. Thanks for watching and this is the shrimp in Voltini at Soto 13.